Hello everyone and welcome to the first video in a series I'm really going to try and complete. 60 paintings in 30 days. Now I know I haven't been around much over the last several months and you know I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting back to it and I felt like this was a good challenge to kind of get me moving again. So over the last several months, really over the last year, like a lot of you, I think that kind of the stress of the occurrences in the world has taken a toll on me and I really haven't been painting very much at all. You know, I'll go through little spurts where I do a bunch of painting and then several months where I do next to no painting. And in the last few days, I really got excited about doing watercolor again. This is a painting style, this kind of uh, off-the-cuff, meditative-type painting that I was doing a lot at the beginning of lockdown last year, and I really haven't done it since then. So I thought that a really good way to kind of kickstart getting back to you guys is to dig into something that I love, something that I feel like I can do at the drop of a hat, and something I don't have to put a lot of thought into, because it's, I find that I'm really overthinking things these days. So while these may not be actual tutorials, I hope that they are inspiring to you. And I hope that you can find a way to do something similar, whether it's watercolor or acrylic or whatever. So let me tell you a little bit about what it is that I'm doing. I have decided over the next 30 days, and I, I realize there's 31 days in March, but I'm gonna go 30 days. Over the next 30 days, I've decided I am going to complete 60 of these paintings. Now I know 60 seems really, uh, optimistic. Uh, that's not the word I'm looking for. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, anyway, I'm kind of brain dead right now. Uh, I, it's, it seems a, like a pretty aggressive goal, but these little paintings, a lot of times I can whip them out pretty quick. You know, last year when I was doing this, I was doing sometimes four or five of them a day. So I figure I'm probably not going to paint every single day, but on the days I do paint, chances are I'm going to do more than one of them. So today we're just starting with one and I just wanna kind of share the process with you, show you how I'm using these little cards. It's just little Canson watercolor blocks. It's four by six inches. It's a, a good size for painting like this. I buy them in bulk. I've got, <laughs> I've got dozens of these little watercolor blocks. Just I find them in random piles throughout my house and studio. So this is a good size to work with and I'm using watercolor which I find really soothing and I can get lost in it and let it do what it wants to do and find peace in that and I'm using a very limited palette. So my goal in each painting is to use no more than four colors, and typically I wanna try and keep it to about three. Now when I start these paintings, I have nothing in mind. I have no goals, I have no expectations, I'm not, going for anything in particular. I really don't even care if it turns out to be, you know, a decent looking painting. And chances are you'll see some paintings that I feel very mediocre about. But hopefully you'll see some paintings that I actually end up surprising myself with. And this was one of them. I think as you watch this at the beginning, it looks like just an absolute mess. It's like, what is happening here? Who knows? Nothing. It's going to be garbage. But I'm really pleased with how this painting turned out in the end. And I'm really, at this point, I'm only using three colors. I think, yeah, I've brought in Payne's Gray at this point. But I just picked two colors that I, that I like. I like the way they work together. I like the colors. 
and I just started laying them on really randomly. Like I said, I, I promise you I have no no goal in mind, no composition in mind, no nothing. I'm not thinking, oh, I'm going to make a landscape of this or I'm going to paint a, anything. I'm just using the colors and kind of following their lead, plopping them down on the paper and then taking cues. If I see something that looks like maybe it's a bush, I kind of follow that path and say, okay, let's make it, let's try to make it look like a bush then. If I see a, a good opportunity, you know, a spot where a tree could be, then I may put a tree in that spot. But that's what I mean. I'm really letting the painting kind of dictate where everything is going. So we did a video similar to this last year um, where I did give a little bit more instruction and uh, it's really hard for me to give instruction when I'm painting like this because, you know, they're all such spur of the moment decisions. I, I can't tell you. And now I'm going to do this when I have no idea what it is that I'm going to do or how it's going to turn out. I'm just following my gut and, and trying things out. I feel like my old process of, you know, planning like, okay, I'm going to paint this this week and following that and developing a painting. I don't have the capacity for that right now, you know, stress and anxiety and everything for a lot of people is very conducive to creativity. For me, it's the exact opposite. And so, you know, sitting down and planning out a video is just not something that I've been able to do, which is why you haven't seen me for a while. So I thought that if I can get back into the habit of recording and editing and putting videos out and interacting with you guys, then maybe that in and of itself can be the catalyst to get me back out there. And since I'm finding joy in painting like this right now, I thought maybe I'd share that with you and, you know, two birds, one stone. It <laughs> gets me painting and moving again and gets me back out to you guys. And hopefully soon we can get back into, you know, a regular schedule like we, like we used to do. Uh, I think things on my channel going forward would probably be a little bit different probably you know I will bring you a little more watercolor than I have in the past and in December I started actually messing around with oil paint and oil paint is so much different than I was afraid it would be for years and years and I'm really enjoying it and so I'd like to kind of show you some things that I've learned about oil paint as well and I hope that whether you are interested in painting in oil or watercolor or acrylic or whatever, I hope that you'll join me and just, you know, find joy in exploring and learning, even if that exploration and learning for you is just through watching what I'm doing and listening to the things that, that I'm learning. Um, I'm, I'm excited to you know, share the learning process with you, not just help you learn, but kind of share with you my learning process as well. So now you can kind of see this painting taking shape and this just feels like a place that I would love to be right now. We didn't get to do much camping last year. We had planned on actually taking a couple of long road trips and clearly that didn't happen. And so now I'm, you know, really itching to get out and go camping again. And this looks just like a place that I would love to be camping right now. So I'm hoping this year we can get out on the road a little more often and hopefully I can bring you some, some videos from, you know, some, some beautiful places that we're, that we're camping at and staying and, Maybe even some plein air. Plein air is not something I've ever tried before. 
but I really want to, you know, probably not an acrylic, plain air and acrylic is a little tough because the paint dries really fast, but you know, definitely some quick watercolor studies and oil paint is really great for plain air. So I hope that's something that we can explore this year together. I've had some questions about my Patreon lately. You know, how do I join your Patreon? I don't have a Patreon right now. Um, you know, I kind of just shut everything down. I just, I went through a little phase, guys, honestly, where I thought I will probably never paint again. I felt like that part of my life had just ended, that, that my art fell off, <laughs> if that makes any kind of sense. And... You know, sitting down and just playing with these watercolors and allowing myself the freedom to just enjoy and not produce has really shown me that my art did not, in fact, fall off. I just need to find a way to alleviate some stress and tension so that I can get back to it. And I think that there's probably a lot of you who have kind of gone through similar things this year. And so I hope that this is helpful for you. Um, so over the next 30 days, whenever I have these little paintings that I've finished, I'm gonna record all of them. And as long as it, as long as the painting gets finished, I'm going to share that with you. And it'll just be in a quick little time lapse like this. I will provide information in the video description for all of the materials I've used just in case you're curious. I hope that you do try this. Not necessarily try to copy the painting that I'm doing. I mean you can but it was such a spontaneous action that I really don't think I could tell you. Oh and here I'm using a mixture of, I really have no idea what mixture I'm using. <laughs> I have no idea what color I'm using. I can tell you what colors I did use, and then you're free to try to mimic the image if you like. I feel like mimicking an image in this process kind of goes against what it is that I'm doing because this is so spontaneous. But I hope that it inspires you to just sit down with your medium of choice. You can absolutely do this with acrylic or pencil or oil or crayon or marker, whatever, and set yourself some parameters, a size limit, uh, a color palette limit, and maybe even a time limit if you find that time is something that you struggle with, and just create for no other purpose other than creating is enjoyable. If the painting at the end is complete garbage, so what? Throw it in the garbage and remember the process that you went through and enjoyed and move on to the next one. I think the real challenge for me here is going to be what am I going to say to you in each one of these videos? <laughs> so they'll probably end up being kind of little vlog things. I may not talk even quite as much in each video as I did this one, but I wanted to give you an idea of where I've been, why I haven't been around, and what you can expect going forward. Uh, oh, also, my, my last thing with this is trying to be really gentle with myself. I know that I could fall off and just not complete this challenge at any moment, and I'm telling myself that's okay if I, if I do quote unquote fail at this challenge. I'm not gonna beat myself up over it. I'm just gonna move on to the next thing. I do have another video for you tomorrow that has two more paintings in it. And I hope that you'll stop by and check that out. And I would love to hear if you are trying this process and uh, and what you're experiencing. So I will see you all again tomorrow. And I really appreciate you hanging out with me and you know, being patient with me while I kind of take a little bit of a break. 
Now go do some painting and absolutely enjoy your time.